I'm doing a quick review of my Asus Zenbook U Model UX32VD. And I bought this because, like, I was thinking, like, if you get a laptop, you got, it's got to be, you got to carry it with you all the time, you know? Like, that's what, that's what the point of having a portable computer is for. And so I bought a Zenbook because after doing some, like, uh, research, it's 3.2 pounds. It's actually like a little knife. Cut, shit, cut bread with it also. But here it is, 13.3 inch. Got it. The reason why I bought this is it's got a 1080p screen. And... I'm sacrificing battery life, but um, it's it's good because it has a dedicated graphics. It's got a GeForce uh, 600M in it. This is last year's model because um, it was a little bit cheaper. I bought this on eBay, and one thing about it is like the screws are kind of stripped on. A few of the screws are stripped, so I'm gonna have to get those machined out. But that's what you get for buying stuff on eBay. But other than that, I got a pretty good deal. I got this for 850. And what's good about this is the guy upgraded the RAM a little bit, so I think it's got like six gigabytes. He added an extra. He added a four gigabyte stick, and there's like two gigabytes in it. And another special thing about this particular one is got this. This uh, has space for two hard drives in it, so it's got a two 128 SSDs on a RAID zero. So it's supposed to be, I guess, uh, twice as fast, but. Well, I bought this because like uh, the graphics card is good for like games and um, it's actually quite good on video rendering. And the weakness with the original model was the regular, the non-SSD hard drive and that made the benchmarks a little slow but this one has the upgraded with like two SSDs. So it should be quite fast for a video or whatever Photoshop uh, that you use it on. So, so that's what's special about this one. And so far, I've had this for I bought this before I went to Malaysia. So, like it was quite nice, like uh, to carry around your backpack as it wasn't too heavy. So, quite happy with buying a uh, light uh, an Ultrabook, no CD-ROM drive, which I don't really use anymore, anyways. But um. Yeah, we're actually quite happy with it. Touchpad works great. Everything works great. It has a 1080p screen, which the MacBook Air doesn't. And it's one of the better screens I've heard. And to me, it's quite nice. Um, overall, I would give this like a, quite a high rating. Um, it's a little specialized. The graphics card makes it run hot, and the battery life is only about four hours or so. But that's the price you pay for having that. Um, because I would just like, I, w I mean, I was trying to do, like, maybe have the option of doing some video editing or Photoshop work. And it's been quite fast. Um, any other application, I would definitely recommend not having that. And that way you have better battery life and it won't run as hot, which can be an issue sometimes. But that's just the price you pay for the speed. But overall, very happy with this. And I would recommend the Zenbooks over... You know, I would definitely recommend a Zenbook, maybe even over a MacBook Air. Uh, I think it's beautiful, and it's very well made, very solid. This particular one doesn't have the unibody, like a solid aluminum uh, body chassis, but the other ones do. Um, this one has like a subframe, subframe with the metal on top of it, but I still feel that it's very nice quality. It was all metal, so... It, I feel that it'll last longer. And so far, typing on it has been great. Everything has been great. Um, definitely recommend it. Okay, so these are the ports that it comes with. It comes with the uh, three USB 3 ports and SD card reader. Also, right here is also another two USB 3 ports. One of them has a lightning symbol on it, and that one you can charge like your phone or whatever even when it's in the sleep mode. And that's actually a setting that you have to set um, in the, I think, the battery life options. That at first, I, when I plugged it in, it wasn't charging, but after I set it, it would work. And you can just power down the book and you can still charge your phone off of it. This is a full-size HDMI port. And this is like the, their own special little port. It comes with a couple of dongles. And one of it's for like the Ethernet. You plug it in, and it's got a 
So it doesn't have a full size ethernet port, but it has a little dongle that you have to bring with you. But mostly you use the wireless on this, so it's not a problem. But if you do need the speed, it's available to you. So the headphone jack and a little indicator light it kind of blinks when it's on sleep mode. It's kind of cool. And this is like a little laser ingrain, laser, laser cut like holes in there, and there's a light there that blinks also. You can see the holes are very, very fine. I feel the quality, build quality of this is like a 9 out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10 if it had the unibody design like the other Zenbook, Zenbook Primes. But definitely recommend it. I love this thing. Comes with a nice carrying case also. Three, this particular one is 3.2 pounds. It's got this like interesting wavy texture on it. Kind of gives it a crazy like glass like reflections on it. But this is uh, anodized aluminum. You can see the. Actually, I don't want to show the serial number. Okay. Well, that's it for this review. Overall, very satisfied. I'll give this book, uh, this laptop, Ultrabook, 9 out of 10.